Okay, to continue on our color extravaganza in Premiere Pro, we need to learn what uh, Lumetri scopes are. We've been using Lumetri the panel. I'm going to introduce you to Lumetri the scopes. Okay, these sometimes daunting looking uh, graphs here are gonna help us really visualize our clips. Uh, let me discuss what kind of each of them do. All right, so this seems like a good idea to explain it. I'm inside Premiere Pro, okay? And uh, I guess the scopes here, uh, scopes over here, are bouncing up and down, okay? And what you'll notice is it'll move. Can you notice, I don't know, is that white enough to move? Can you see the scopes moving? Okay, so it, it does nothing. You don't use the scopes to like adjust on the scopes. They're just a way of us seeing the information in a little bit more like, uh, exact way. We're just looking at different parts of the luminance, the saturation, okay, and we'll break down which each of them are good for. And why do we need like scopes? Uh, we need them because of, mainly because consistency. Like up until now, what we've been doing is we've been going, oh, drag the sliders. Okay, so over there, you can see me dragging the sliders up and down and up and down. And you're like, is that better? Is it worse? You're like, yeah, it looks good. But then the one you do tomorrow, you know, you might not drag it to the same place because ah, the ambient light might be different different in your room. The shot's slightly different. So scope is a way to kind of look at it a little bit more scientifically so that you can know that you are not clipping the blacks all the way along, okay? Or the whites too high or, you know, so it's a way of kind of seeing that. What it's also really good for is consistency. So. Uh, you can imagine if you've got like hundreds or thousands of different shots in different places for say a film, you need to have like a consistent color grade through them all. And just doing them by the old tongue out slidey method is obviously not gonna cut it. So scopes is a way to kind of see consistency across different clips. So a brief overview before we jump into them all. Um, there are three main scopes we're gonna cover here. Uh, there are lots of different scopes and ways of looking at it. So I'm going to give you the ways that I use and a lot of people in the industry use, but you will find people in future tutorials who use the per, you know, use the, uh, the waveforms differently, but at least you'll understand how they work and how you manipulate them and you'll be able to easily follow along with them. Uh, so the first one is the waveform. That's the white one in the top left hand corner up there. Um, it is bouncing around. That is called the Luma waveform, and that is a way of looking at the lights and darknesses. Can you see there's nothing really tall up, you know, up at the top of it? There's lots of darkness. It's because the way that I shoot my video, I like to not touch the lights. I like to set my camera so it doesn't overexpose the lights because I've got all sorts of weird, bright, shiny lights and a shiny forehead. <laughs> that ruins all of that. So I like to bump it up afterwards, okay? And I'll show you how we do that with the Luma waveform. Uh, the next one next to it, okay, well, next to the white one is the RGB Parade. It's got a great name, look at that parade. That's the red, green, and blue like Technicolor dream going on. And that's really good for kind of color balance. Okay, so we'll use that one for that. So Luma Wave is exposure, lights and darknesses. The RGB Parade is really good for balancing colors, okay. And then the one underneath, the weird looking one, is the vector scope and probably, I don't know, the most helpful of them all. And it shows a hue and saturation, okay, plus skin tone. Can you see that like big streak that's running up the middle there along that line? That is all the, uh, you know, the tones that are in my skin. If I disappear, will it disappear? Hopefully it will. Let's have a look. I have no idea if it worked or not, but maybe my skin tones, you know, that little vector scope disappeared because there's no skin tones in it. And that's a really handy way to ha uh, you know, help correct skin tones, if, <laughs> if that example worked. Um, yeah, so those are the scopes. What next? Next is a couple of terms. I'll talk about trace a lot. That is what you just call the junk that is in the scopes. Uh, you know, we say, when we're looking at it, we don't know what to call it. We call it trace, okay? There's trace there, and we're talking about when the trace reaches this, okay? That's just all the little things that are moving up and down at the moment, we call that trace. Uh, the other thing, Lumetri. I don't know why I think this is useful. You're at the end of the video. Uh, Lumetri, yeah, they call it Lumetri. What is this Lumetri? Because there's a Lumetri panel, which we've been doing over there. Okay, then there's Lumetri scopes. Basically, it's a technology that was created by somebody else, not Adobe and it kind of worked with Premiere Pro, they loved it and they integrate it and they bought it. 
Okay, so they bought the company that originally made it and they called it Lumetri. So Adobe ended up continuing calling it Lumetri. And it's it's kind of like an umbrella term used for like the panel and all the different scopes, but that's Lumetri. Last thing before we get started, <laughs> I wrote scopes over here so I know which way to point. And look, there's the panel over there. Panel, scopes, how clever am I? I'm not sure if this video is actually gonna work. You let me know in the comments if you think that was just a big headache or <laughs> was it a good introduction? I don't know. All right, let's jump into the video and let's learn about the first one. We're gonna learn about Luma, the waveform, the white one. All right, pointing. These things didn't work at all, did they? I was pointing all over the place. Why didn't you say something? Hope you got the idea. Uh, actually, let's go, let's go and learn some of the scopes now. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do wanna go further with Premiere Pro, you might wanna join me for my larger courses, okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.